Well, how secure is your password? No matter how good you may think it is, security experts say it probably is not good enough. And as New 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky shows us all new at 11, there's a good chance it's already for sale on the Internet. The average person has 150 accounts online, but uses just 12 passwords, and they reuse the same ones at least 10 times. That's a big cyber no-no. Cybersecurity experts can use a program easily found on the Internet to crack anyone's password. And if they can, criminals can too. So what we're looking at here is a database of emails and passwords that was leaked. Uh, on the web. On just one database, a former cyber intelligence expert found tens of thousands of names with their passwords to every account. That is because of all those hacks in recent years. Equifax, Yahoo, big retailers, banks, and even credit card companies. And we can't forget hacks at hospitals and insurance companies, too. It's really a question of when, not if anymore, that each of us is going to suffer a form or multiple forms of identity theft. The passwords are, are the keys to the kingdom now, right? I mean, our passwords guard our, our, our money, our savings accounts, our checking accounts, our, our, our credit card accounts. We've got to change those passwords so nobody else can access it. So how do you keep them secure? Not using the same password for your bank accounts as your email address. Use different passwords for each account. Use long phrases like, I love to shop 2018. Seven or eight character passwords are just no longer enough. Here's a demonstration of just how quickly they can be cracked. Here's your password right here. That's my password. Yep. 45 seconds, not yep. even. No, that, about 37. 37 seconds. 37 okay. seconds. Well, that's scary. Computer hardware has reached this point where we're able to attack them so quickly that a password that small just isn't practical anymore. Um, you know, especially for incredibly sensitive things like um, right. financials, online banking. And we should also use password vaults that keep our passwords encrypted with multi-step authentication. It's a code sent by text to your phone, which you then unlock with your thumbprint. And one more suggestion for you. When websites ask for those security questions like, where did you go to elementary school or what street did you grow up on? Experts say lie. Use information from a friend or relative instead. That way cyber criminals can't find that information on your social media page and use it to get into other accounts too. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.